Okay, here we have a container with gas particles inside it. Every time these gas particles collide with the wall, they're going to exert a force on the wall as caused by the change in momentum when they collide with the wall. What happens if we reduce the volume? So of course, it's obvious that the pressure is going to increase, but why? So firstly, the collisions become more frequent. Why do the collisions become more frequent? It's because the particles have to travel less distance between collisions. So that means the time for the co between collisions decreases and that causes the force to increase. And if the force increases, the pressure increases. Boyd's law states that for a constant mass of gas at constant temperature, the pressure exerted by the gas is inversely proportional to the volume it occupies, which is shown in this equation here. P is inversely proportional to V. Now, this equation can only be used if it's constant mass. What do we mean by that? It means that the gas particles shouldn't be allowed to escape or enter the container. So the number of particles inside it is fixed. And secondly, the temperature is constant. Normally, when you press down, on a piston like this, what happens is the temperature goes up. So what we either need to do is do it very slowly so the temperature doesn't increase much, or you need to give it enough time to cool back to the original temperature um, in order to use this equation here. An another way of writing this equation is this, PV equals constant. So if you multiply the pressure um, and the volume, it should be constant as long as the temperature is constant, the number of particles hasn't changed. Another way is P1V1 equals P2V2. P1 is the pressure, let's say, before and the volume before, and P2 is the pressure after and volume after. They should be the same as long as those things are constant. Gas closed in a 0 0.50 meters cube container is at 101 kilopascals. That's actually atmospheric pressure, 101,000 pascals. Um, and that is the pressure on us right now due to the atmos Earth's atmosphere. It is compressed to a volume of 0 0.24 meters cubed. Calculate the pressure. So this is the initial volume. This was the initial pressure. This was the volume after, and we need to get the pressure after. So I know that P1V1 is a constant, which is, and that's going to equal P2V2. So P1, V1 is equals P2, which I don't know, times 0 0.24. If I rearrange that, I get P2 of 210417 pascals, which is 210 kilopascals. What assumptions were made when carrying out the above calculation? We assumed that the temperature is constant and secondly that none of the gas escaped in other words the number of particles is the same before and after okay the pressure in a container with the gas inside is increased from 300,000 pascals to 900,000 pascals the initial volume of the container was 12 centimeters cubed calculate the final volume of the container so here I wouldn't even have to do the calculation because I know that this has increased by times three the pressure has gone up by times three and according to Boyle's law the volume is inverse proportional, so the volume should become a third. So that gives me a final volume, V2 if you want, of 4 centimeters cubed.